Hey guys, welcome back. Johnny here at Clever Perceptions, where I show you how to think differently about your money. I have another exciting video for you today on my Robin Hood Zero to a Thousand Dollar Challenge Update Week 18. So let's get into it. But first, for everybody new to my channel, talk about everything on money, such as saving, spending, and investing in your hard-earned money more wisely. I also want to share strategies with everyone on how they could start using their money to work for them. If you like what I'm doing, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the little bell button so you'll get all the notifications to your phone. And if you know any friends or family that would find this video helpful, please share it with them. Okay guys, so let's take a look at what's going on this week on my Robinhood account. On Friday, I was up about um, $2.75, nothing big, and for the week I took a huge loss, 3% of my portfolio. Um, I didn't want to risk any more of that. I have been trying to keep my um, losses to a minimum of at least 1% to 3%. Um, the reason for this was because of UGAZ, U-G-A-Z. I had seen it going down for quite some time, thought I'd buy in at a low price and that it would spike up, but it has just been going down, guys. It has been just going down, down, down. And I said, you know what, I'm cutting my losses at 3%, I am not going to take any more losses, and it hasn't even shot back up. It's still going down as we speak. Um, huge loss, though, I took, um, I believe it was like 30 or $40. Um, I'll put a picture up right here on the side so you could see that, but man, um, just a huge loss. Um, but that's okay, you know, I heard that they were going to be doing a reverse stock split 10 to 1. I had 33 shares, so I would have ended up with only 3 shares at like $50 each, and it would have just kept going down anyway. So I cut my losses. Sometimes you have to learn, you know, hey man, I made, you know, four or $500 off this account in a few months. You know, but I learned, hey, I got to take this 3% loss. Should have never got into the deal, but did. And um, just learn from my mistakes and just keep going. So some of the things that I did to turn this around um, automatically here on Friday, I went ahead and sold all of my UGAS, and then I bought in on NVDA. I bought this right away, guys, because I seen that it was going to, um, it was having a bounce here. Uh, double bottom at about 187, and I believe 186 there. Um, I did buy in at 188.15, and look at that, guys. I'm already up 2% on that. I already made back almost $5 in one day, and I am expecting this stock to go back up to its previous um, high of 216, as well as go beyond that, hopefully, to the 230, 240 mark, where I will then make all the money I lost with you guys on this one stock. Um, it might take a couple of months, but it'll definitely be worth it in the long run. Um, so that's something that I bought. I also bought gain, glad, good, and land. You know, I'll go over all the ticker symbols you hear, you see are right here. Um, I bought them on like Wednesday and then, um, wanted to get them. Um, I was talking to you guys last week that on Friday would be the last day to buy because on Monday is the X dividend date, um, which will then go to any, um, the dividends will go to any person that is a shareholder with these companies the morning of um, the morning of Monday. So you had to buy it on Friday to get in on these. I did get in and will be selling these off so I could have a little bit more money to put into other positions. Um, you know, I still am invested on GoPro. I added another three shares um, last week. And let's just go ahead and go to the history right away. Um, so not a whole lot going on. You know, I sold my Facebook share on the 12th. I figured it was a free share, so let's just go ahead and sell it and maybe enjoy the holidays with it, buy some of the kids' presents. And so that's exactly what I decided to do. Um, I haven't pulled it out of the Robinhood account yet because it takes 30 days. So on Monday, we'll actually uh, mark around 30 days and should be able to withdraw that out. So... Um, and then as you can see, I did buy on the 12th. I got a free share from uh, Robinhood. Um, I believe my Uncle Lawrence signed up with my link. Thank you, Uncle. 
and uh, I got a free share of Z-N-G-A, Zynga. He got a free share of Sprint. It was like $8 or something, so he, he was really excited about that. Um, I did buy in at Ford. I was getting tired of watching the price go up and down, up and down. I was like, just buy at the lowest point you could buy and just lock that in. So I did buy there. We'll be locking in more positions with that later. Um, I got a dividend of Microsoft on the 15th, um, as well as QCOM. Um, I got another dividend on the 16th and Coca-Cola on the 16th. Um, ended up selling my Zynga share uh, for $4.02. So I made um, I made a $0.09 cent profit on something that was already free. So that's pretty cool. Um, sold to you guys for $183. I just couldn't take the loss anymore. I mean, I think I even had like 220 in it invested at one time. So it was a pretty big loss, like $37 or so. Um, bought NVDA, bought Intel, bought GM, and bought a few more shares of GoPro. And guys, that's really the, the end of this video here for my week 18 update. Um, not a lot going on. Um, total since August 15th, I am still up 56% which is $204 of profit um, since August 15th. So I'm still on track. I'm hoping to get this little uh, $17 curve taken away uh, by the end of next week. Hopefully I'll be able to make some good uh, gains and um, get back up to the $600 mark, guys. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so you get future updates as well as maybe share it with your family and friends who might think this video is helpful as well. So, all right, you guys have a great day.